ये बिलीव करता है कि सोशलिज्म एक अच्छा है सोशलिज्म इज अनो अ गुड अल्टरनेटिव बेटर यू नो सोशो इकोनॉमिक ऑर्डर हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई वॉज वेटिंग फॉर यू नो सर्टेन टेक्निकल इशू आई होप यू ऑल आर गुड एंड यू आर enthusiastic about know something you know regarding socialism right so have you celebrated raksha bandhan or still we are waiting for the moment of the raksha bandhan savinder so, what about you hmm so today is 30th august right and we are going to discuss about socialism yesterday we talked about socialism today we are going to talk about the different varieties of socialism right so here if you look at yesterday we talked about socialism right can you tell me what we studied what you knew about socialism in the last class anyone you can just remind me that you learn in the last class regarding socialism that i will write here earlier theorists were ethical socialists of course if you look at the there was a ethical socialist ethical socialism okay the evolution of socialism you know is a ethical socialism right and marx called them utopian socialism okay marx called them utopian socialism okay fine very good Harika talks about socialism advocates social and economic equality. Of course, socialism believes in social and economic equality. Fine, that I have taught you. Socialist believes that you know human nature. Very good. they believe that human is a ethical creature human being have love sympathy you know pity compassion right individual is not competitive egoistic as liberal believed so they believe that you know so their understanding of human nature is different than that of liberal of course very good sahil so they, if you look at socialism understanding of human nature is very much different if you look at the socialist who believed human is you know rational being and he has sympathy he had compassion he has love right he is tied with society right unlike liberals who believed that you know the individual is egoistic right and self motivated competitive individual right so they, there is a difference you know that you learn yeah another thing that you learn common ownership very good socialist believe in common ownership common ownership right just opposite of capitalism if you look at capitalism capitalism believes in private property hmm profit right now if you look at equality as uh, you know sahil has pointed out they believed in social equality right social equality or you can say that equality of outcome equality of outcome right social and economic equality or equality of outcome 
then what you learn about socialism the state is the okay yeah anupama you are right their understanding of state is different right their understanding of state is different anything that you learn about socialism in the last class tell to govern society okay socialism believes in self govern society or community right so that is their belief fine right now you said that ethical socialism was the early socialism as you have already pointed out what you learned in ethical socialism what was the character of ethical socialism socialist what is the basic characteristics of eth- ethical socialist that you learned in the last class yeah after death of marx socialism divided into different variety but what about socialist ethical socialist the early version of socialism what you learn from here socialism through democratic means gradual transition to socialism very good very good now if you look at you know socialism socialism evolved in opposition to capitalism first thing that you should know socialism evolved as a political creed political ideology in opposition to capitalism because there were several issues within the capitalism secondly secondly the early socialists were called ethical socialists why they were ethical socialists because if you look at the early socialists provided moral critique to capitalism right ethical critique to capitalism and they believe that you know the socialism is a higher degree order or it is a better socio economic order than the capitalism right so if you look at they thought that you know socialism as a life because socialism is a you know believe in self governed society common ownership man is tied with bond of love compassion pity right fine so basically they believe that socialism is morally superior they believe that socialism is morally and ethically superior to capitalism why you so because socialism believes in the man you know is rational and tied with the bond of love bond of compassion bond of pity right he has sympathy he is altruistic he, man he cooperate each other they coordinate each other and that's why right if you look at socialism is a morally ethically superior to capitalism this is a false point that why it is called ethical socialism because they believe that you know socialism is morally and ethically superior to capitalism now what was the other thing that it talked about right they thought thought socialism can come gradually it you know can be established gradually right two a process right it can be established gradually right right here they thought that we can appeal to the ruling class who are educated class who are morally and ethically superior they may understand the reality of the working class in capitalist world right so they believe that they can and you know change the capitalism through the moral appeal to the ruling class and that's what they are called ethical socialism what had happened to here 
what happened to when marx interpreted socialism marx talk called his socialism is scientific socialism we have already talked about the basic features now i am just segregating what marx called his socialism as a scientific socialism why marx socialism was a scientific socialism tell me why marx claimed that his version of socialism is scientific and leveled ethical socialism as a utopian socialism what was the reason what is the addition of marx and angel because it was pragmatic rather than utopian okay sahil i'm writing right so marx version marx and angel version of socialism was claimed as as pragmatic very good very good very good answer yeah another answer you can give to the uh, basically historical materialism very good anupama right marx you know claimed that both marx and angel both claimed that they have uncovered history right historical materialism and economic condition is very much you know the determining factor for the any society right so marx and angel both i was talking about you know to why karl marx you know made some critical comment to the socialism why the early ethical socialist were called as a you know utopian socialist right because of the means they had provided if you look at the what are the means the ethical socialists provided appeal to the ruling class appeal to the ruling class in order to bring socialism because they believed the ethical socialist that ruling class are you know educated and they can bring changes right they can bring socialism right that is common ownership right social and economic equality decentralized and community life satisfaction of the masses they can fulfill people can fulfill the need now look at karl marx what karl marx had a suggestion according to karl marx what was the means to achieve karl marx agreed that socialism is a very important right socialism as a alternative socio economic order of capitalism is need of the hour we can establish socialism but by this means tell me anupama by this means marx agreed ethical appeal to the ruling class ethical appeal to the state my audible marx said no ethical appeal is insufficient very much unpragmatic there is no pragmatism is there now they believe that you know if you look at marx marx talked about you know class struggle now he talked about revolution he talked about revolution he talked about the violent overthrow of capitalism over throw of capitalism and establish socialism now even during when marx was advocating violent overthrow of capitalism in order to establish socialism now even during that time there were many philosopher not agreed with 
Marx and Engels. Right? They were supporter of socialism, but not the the Marx way, the Engel way. They still tied with the ethical socialism. Right? They still believe that socialism can be brought through means of non-violence. Right? And they still, you know, continued criticism to the ca- capitalism through the ethical way. For example, one example, let me give you. Right? There was one uh, a philosopher, his name was R.H. Taune. And R.H. Taune had written a book called The Acquisitive Society. Now, if you look at the ethical socialist, Ethical socialism is still believe, believed in non-violent method. Non-violent method to achieve socialism. Right? And when the Marx was very much dominant, this orthodox Marxist was idea was very dominant in Western society like Europe, right? Now, still, many philosophers like Arach Taune offered religious and ethical critique to capitalism, right? For example, you know, Arach Taune, right? Arach Taune, in his work, Word, right? The executive society. The executive. Ex- executive society. Right? Offered moral critique, religious critique. Now, if you look at this time, the ethical socialist, you know, incorporated, you know, religious. If you look at Christianity, Yeah. So if you look at, you know, this Aristotle has, you know, offered a very much ethical critique or moral critique. Offered moral, religious, you know, critique to capitalism. To capitalism. And still, and they believe in non-violent resistance. Non-violent resistance. Now, if you look at Christianity. Now, what is Christianity's mor- no, Christian morality? Right? Christianity believe in renunciation. Christianity believe in honesty. Christianity believe in modesty. Christianity believe in cooperation. So if you look at, you know, this ethical socialist, even when the Marx and Engel idea was orthodox Marxist, Marxism was very popular. The ethical socialism was offering a new critique to the capitalism and that was moral and religious critique, right? They talked about the Christianity, look at the Christianity, which teaches modesty, which teaches honesty, which teaches renunciation, which teaches cooperation, which teaches many good things, right? And capitalism should not be profit motive, right? Profit driven, rather than it should help the people. Now look at this parallel to ethical socialist. This ethical socialist traveled in the next century right so we have seen the two way of socialism one is scientific socialism or revolutionary socialism and second is ethical socialism or the evolutionary socialism right yesterday i talked about you know the revolutionary and evolutionary socialism so that i have taught you in the last class now let me see the today's class Right? If you look at socialism, 
there is a two version of socialism one is evolutionary socialism and second is revolutionary socialism revolutionary socialism first talked about by marx and engels and after his death there was a many people like karl lipkowski kotsky that he already you know right rosa luxemburg right luxemburg then lenin right stalin right mao right franz fenen franz fenen in algeria right che che guevara right they all were evolutionary socialists if you look at evolutionary socialism right they believe in the gradual change but if you look at this revolutionary socialist they they are also called orthodox marxists right they are called orthodox marxists they are they were revolutionary now they were evolutionary so early ethical socialist but after death of marx we can see the variety of evolutionary socialism evolved yeah chavinder the previous slide please write it yeah we have we were facing technical issue it happens when we have online we have you know hybrid classes just not it down done i see the comment from chandra sir sir summary of today's class till now one more time please okay i will not do the summary anyone can do the summary what we discussed yet i have taught you only three slides one i talked about socialism that yesterday we talked about and i asked what did you learn yesterday from the idea of socialism and successfully many you know many of you have pointed out socialism is a just you know an alternative socio economic order just a position to capitalism it it had started in mid of 19th century right and socialism believed in human nature but different from the liberals socialists believe that human is a you know human is tied with love compassion sympathy the human being are cooperative unlike liberal who believe that man is egoistic man is competitive socialists believe you know different idea of ownership if liberals believes in private property socialists believe in common ownership collective ownership community ownership socialists believe in economic justice socio economic justice socialists believe in equality of outcome so many characteristics of socialism you have already talked about then i started the initial socialism that evolved that was called ethical socialism now what was ethical socialism why we call this early version of socialism evolved in uk and france by the you know robert owen charles fuller and morris john morris as a ethical socialism because the early socialists provided moral and ethical critique to the capitalism they thought that socialism as a way of life is morally and ethically superior right now how this socialism can be achieved this socialism can be achieved gradually through a process right samaj bad babua dheere dheere aayi hai na now if you look at the marx and engel 
you know provided a critique to the ethical socialist marx was not only critique to capitalist marx was very also critical to the early socialist and marx argue that your socialism is a utopian socialism marx label this ethical socialist as a utopian socialist and marx and engel claim that they have uncovered the law of history historical materialism right and look at the working class their condition is deteriorated and it will deteriorate the working class are very conscious about revolution so therefore you know there will be a struggle class struggle between the bourgeoisie and the proletariat and this time the proletariat is very conscious they will overthrow the state right so they will launch a revolution so basically marx provided a very much you know systematic analysis of socialism he labeled as scientific socialism that we have discussed and then even during the scientific socialism ethical socialism was aligned still many philosopher in europe believed in ethical socialist right they believe in non violent method unlike marx who believe in violent method to change now if you look at like for example aristotle in his book the executive the executive society in this book he provided moral and religious critique to capitalism right the aristotle has given example of christianity if you look at christianity christianity taught taught us you know modesty honesty renunciation cooperation love compassion that is christianity right and they started you know a critique to capitalism they found that capitalism is a profit driven economic system and this is wrong now even this ethical socialist and gradual socialist because they believe in gradual gradual you know way socialism can come through a peaceful gradual process that's why they are called also called gradualism so if you look at there are basically two version of socialism one is revolutionary socialism that developed by marx and engel and later many follower carried the marx and engels revolutionary socialist idea right like karl koski rosa luxemburg lenin stalin mao franz peno right che che guevara and so on now evolutionary socialism if you look at you know for example we had fabian socialism fabian socialism then we had guild socialism right we had guild socialism then we have syndical syndicalism syndicalism right this is very much french french version right latin america mein bhi yahi tha latin america mein bhi yahi popular tha ab dekhenge fabian so ye uk mein tha ye sab kon hai ये सब वही है जो दे डोंट बिलीव इन वायलेंस दे बिलीव इन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट वे बट दे डोंट बिलीव इन कॉमन लिंक इज दे डोंट बिलीव इन वायलेंट मेथड टू ओवर थ्रो कैपिटलिज्म सोशलिज्म दिस इज अ कॉमन लिंक राइट सेंडिकलिज्म और रिविजनिज्म रिविजनिज्म दिस इज जर्मन वर्जन इट इज डेवलप्ड बाय यू नो Edward Bernstein in German, right? So these are the basic, you know, what was the their common link? They believe in non-violent, violent method to achieve socialism. This is a common link. Otherwise, there is a difference. First, we will look at. Fabian socialism today. Is it clear? अभी तक clear है जो पढ़ाया मैंने. Everyone. Clear है? 
very good sahil but when i read syndicalism i found it's inspired by marx revolution the idea yes yes you know, there was some mixture of marx also yes you are right sahil when we will come to the you know uh, we are talking about syndicalism yeah 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 syndicalism right they also had certain component of that right we'll talk about that now come to the fabian socialism let me talk about i hope you uh, understood it sahil shavinder harika chandrasa anupama and everyone now let me move to fabian socialism fabian socialism aapko ye pata hai ki fabian socialist non violent resistance mein believe karta hai ye believe karta hai ki socialism ek acha hai socialism is a you know a good alternative better you know socio economic order we can live a good life or happy life with you know in socialism than the capitalism but how socialism can come they have different idea now let me tell you uh this fabian socialism uh is based on the idea given by the roman general he was a military head q fabius right who believed that strike the iron when it is hot right who believe that strike the iron when it is hot it means you need to wait for the right moment to strike and when moment come you strike very hard you strike very hard right and achieve your goal right so that is the philosophy behind the fabian socialism and basically there was a fabian society which was established in the uk in 1884 just one year before the indian national congress so if you look at the fabian society fabian society established in 1884 just year before you know the indian national congress established in india right and their faith was in gradual evolution of socialism rather than the marx idea the revolutionary socialism the first thing that you must understand their means was again like the ethical socialist right means was you know uh democratic means democratic means you know our democratic method democratic way to achieve socialism right very non violent way right very much non violent way rather than a violent method as proposed by marx karl marx right right they believed in you know so their means was democratic way it means non violent resistance non violent resistance to capitalism they also believe that socialism will come gradually you cannot bring change the you know entire capitalism in one day because capitalism has you know journeyed or traveled to 50 years then this idea came now so they believe that it can it can come it can be established in a gradual process it can be established in a gradual process process now that's why if you look at you know fabian socialists are also called gradualist or gradualism right right now if you look at what they believe they believe in the fabian right the leader fabian who talked about wait for the right moment to strike hard wait keep have patience 
have passions. Now, meanwhile, if you have passion, then what do you do? What to do? They argued that first you form the Labour Party. Formed Labour Party, Labour Union, Cooperative Society. Right? Organized woman. Organized woman, poor and working class. So that in between you have to do this. Right formed Labour Party. If you look at British Labour Party, British Labour Party was formed in 1900. If you look at UK Labour Party, was formed in 1900. Right? And if you look at through this influence, well, in Australia, there was a Labour Party was formed. When Labour Party in Australia was formed? In 1910. Now, if you look at the current Prime Minister of Australia, he belongs to the Labour Party. The current Prime Minister. If you look at Indian independence, when India achieved independence, who was the Prime Minister of UK? Jab Bharat ko ajadi mili, us samay Bharat Pradhan Mantri kon ta UK ka? Clement Attlee. Right? Not Churchill. Yeah. Who's, uh, which party he belongs to? Anupama? He belonged to Labour Party. Very good. He belonged to Labour Party. Right? So if you look at, they talked about Labour Party, Labour Union, Cooperative Society, Organized. And if you look at, right to vote was extended to workers. Right to vote was extended to women. So their belief one. Right? So form the Labour Party first. Right? First is this. Organize. This is called political action. Form the Labour Party, Labour Union, Cooperative Society, Club, Club, Workers Association. So this is the first thing to do. Now secondly, you know, what to do? They believe in right to vote. The right to vote was extended to workers, women in UK and other part of Europe. So they believe that, you know, they must educate, right? The workers, the women, that Labour Party is your party. When Labour Party is going to win and form the government, it will bring socialism. What is socialism? The socio-economic equality the common ownership and most of all no exploitation of the working class there will be dignified work there will be dignified working hour there will be dignified you know a treatment to the worker that was not available in capitalism in the 18th and 19th century so basically they talked about education you know political education you can say that political they had a strong, a strong belief in political education, right? First, they have believed in political action. This is, you can write in one heading, political action. What is political action? The formation of labor party, the labor union, cooperative society, right? Organized woman, poor. When you do it, you have to also give political education to everyone since right to vote has been already extended. So, so unite, right? So they believe in political education, right? You know, since right to vote was extended to working class and women, they believe that They believe that we should we should fully educate you know workers and women 
about Labour Party and its objective. What is the objective of Labour Party? What is the objective of Labour Party? The objective is to bring socialism, the social economic equality, economic justice, dignified labour law, dignified labour, you know, wages, weekly leave, and so on and so forth. So they believe in, and they thought that it's not only workers, education has great power. If you educate even the bourgeoisie, right? They can understand your, your point, right? So they believe that political education is a one of the most important thing. Now, if you look at, you know, the head Labour Party, one thing I would like to tell, tell you, if you look at the Indian leader, like, like Indian leader, like Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, you know, which party did Dr. B. R. Ambedkar formed in India first time? Which political party Dr. B. R. Ambedkar formed first time in India when he came back from the Britain? He was highly influenced by Fabians. He was highly influenced by Fabians. It was an independent Labour Party. And he contested British, you know, uh, Bombay province election and also Central Legislative Assembly election in 1937. He won 11 seats in Bombay and three seats in Central Legislative, Central Legislature. But, you know, very recently he, uh, you know, realized if you look at Labour Party, Labour Party focus on worker. Look at Labour Party focus on workers association, right? Women, labor union. But in India, labor was not a problem. Caste was a problem, right? In India, very recent, you know, recently he found that labor problem nahi hai Bharat ka. Workers class problem hi nahi Bharat ka. Right, Bharat ka jo basic problem hai, wo caste hai. And that's why, you know, if you look at, he formed another party called, ki koi bata sakta hai? Ambedkar ne dusri party kon se establish kari? What are the next political party Ambedkar has established in 1937? That was the last one, Anupama. All India Scheduled Caste Federation. Ambed, all India Scheduled Caste Federation. This was the second party Ambedkar had established in India. First was Independent Labour Party. Right? Independent Labour Party. Right? Now, if you look at third, he talked about the Republican Party. Which has been fragmented and there are approximately 11 Liberal Republican Party in Maharashtra alone, later to side. Now, if you look at not only Ambedkar, but if you look at Nehru, Nehru was a great Fabian socialist. He was a great fan of, you know, uh, uh, Fabian socialist, right? His political guru, uh, Lasky, Harold Lasky was a Fabian. So if you look at the exponent of, you know, exponent of Fabian sources, who were the exponent? I hope you have literature and you have gone through literature. Right? Aji sare khatam But I'm just going gradually because, right? Initial understanding, initial things. Agar ek bar eat rakh jata hai na, uske baad eat rakhte raho. Hai na? When you make you know make a house you strive to build build a strong foundation ek bar strong foundation chad gaya na uske baad to eat dalte raho lagate raho masala turant mein ghar ban jata hai dekha hai have you observed that kind of thing foundation takes time not the building 
isn't it तो फाउंडेशन में टाइम लगता है तो फाउंडेशन इसीलिए मैं थोड़ा सा फाउंडेशन में ज्यादा टाइम देता हूं उसके बाद तो चढ़ा देता हूं ईट फटाफट फटाफट राइट सो इफ यू लुक एट द एक्सपोनेंट ऑफ फैबियन सोशलिस्ट हु एक्सपोनेंट टेल मी ग्राहम वलास जॉर्ज बर्नार्ड शॉ बेट्राइस वेब एंड सिडनी वेब एच जी वेल हु राइट हेरो लास्की रैमसेन मेक डोनाल्ड Any Besant, right? I hope you have heard about Any Besant, Ramsey McDonald. Ramsey McDonald was a prime minister when the second round table conference held in Britain, where Ambedkar, you know, negotiated with Ramsey McDonald and achieved what? What happened after second round co- round table conference? Both were the believer of the same. Ambedkar and Ramsey McDonald, both were Fabians. Look at both were Fabians. If Churchill was there, he would not give them. Separate electorate. Yes, yes, you are Anupma. You are right. So Ambedkar succeeded in getting separate electorate from Ramsey McDonald because both believed in that ideology, the Fabian socialist. Right. So exponent are. You know, Graham Wallas, Graham Wallas, George Bernard Shaw, you know, Britain's Wave, and Sydney Wave, right? Then Harold Lasky. You have already know Harold Lasky and his position. Then Ramsey McDonald, right? Ramsey McDonald, Annie Besant, right? Annie Besant, right? Here, Doctor Ambedkar. Jawaharlal Nehru, the first Prime Minister. He was also Fabian socialist, right? And if you look at you know the Awadhi Session Congress, 1955, right? 1955 Awadhi Session Congress, where you know Congress Party declared its objective. What was the objective of the Congress Party in 1955 Awadhi Session? आबादी सेशन में क्या था ऑब्जेक्टिव क्या था सोशलिस्ट पैटर्न ऑफ सोसाइटी सोशलिस्ट पैटर्न ऑफ सोसाइटी राइट या दैट वॉज सोशलिस्ट पैटर्न ऑफ सोसाइटी राइट है बिलीव इन यू नो एजुकेट एजुकेट एंड ऑर्गेनाइज इफ यू लुक एट फैबियंस Fabians believe in. Look at the Dr. Ambedkar slogan. Suna hai na? There is a very famous slogan of Dr. Ambedkar: Educate, agitate, and organize. Educate, agitate, and organize. Suna hai isko? I have talked about education, the political education. I have talked about agitation. To hone ichi. I have talked about how to work, organize the working class. Have you heard about this slogan? Nahi? Not yet. Educate, agitate, and organize. This is a slogan first time given by. Let me tell you, Gramsci. In my knowledge, right? And that. Then you know it was borrowed by, by you know Fabian Socialist. And Dr. Ambedkar 
bring this formula to India in order to, you know, launch caste movement, Dalit movement, right? Self-respect movement, a movement for freedom, right? It was a famous slogan of Dr. Ambedkar. Edu- educate, agitate, and organize. I have not heard of it. Fine, no problem. So if you look at Fabian Sosnis rejected the, you know, violent method of Karl Marx and they have their different idea of socialism, right? They believe in, you know, the forming political party, right? And forming government, when government will, you know, build with the Labour Party, then they will bring so many reform, political reform, economic reform, labor reform, right? And they can bring socialism. So first, political edu- you know, political action. Second, political education, and third, third, you know, the power. When the, when Labour Party captured the power then it must work for the social, political, economic reform, right? Right, when Labour Party come to power, comes to power, it should work, it should, you know, do social, political and economic reform. in order to bring socialism. So this is a one way of socialism called Fabian socialism, right? Very much popular in India. If you look at Indian socialism, Indian socialism was highly influenced by Fabian socialists. Dr. Ambedkar, Jawaharlal Nehru, right? Many members of the Constituent Assembly were highly influenced by Fabian Socialists because they were educated in Britain. Right? It is clear that Fabian Socialism Fabian Socialism Yeah, Shavinder, everyone, Harika, Sandra Shah. Did I make sense to you? what I'm teaching or is it my teaching is going in vain I'm unable to convey you the masses about the Fabian source list right so in I hope you have notes and uh, I have already written in notes to what British way what Ramsey McDonald what George Bernard Shaw talked about for example if you look at British Web right and Sydney Webb both talked about nationalization of property right and welfare state if you look at judge Bernard Shaw he was a Irish, Irish uh, political play writer critic political activist and he talked about abolition of private property if you look at Ramsey McDonald he was a Fabian he was a part of Fabian society he was the first Labour Party Prime Minister in the UK, Ramsey MacDonald in 1932. And he advocated for, you know, welfare state, social reform and bring equality in society. Any Besant you must know, uh, right? Annie Besant was a British socialist. She was a woman right activist. She was a theopist, theosophist who was also a member of Fabian society. She was a great votary of workers' right, women's right and rights of the indigenous people, rights of the local people, right? She was very active in India's freedom and struggle. So all were Fabian socialist. Making sense? I finished Fabian socialism. Now, in two minutes, I mean, in five minutes, it will be Foundation, I have put it in the foundation. Right? Now, let me talk about revisionism. Because revision. Since let me talk about revisionism. 
when i taught you marx i taught you after death of marx you know there was a one uh, meeting in germany and that meeting was held by german socialist democratic party and there was two leading figure in german socialist democratic party one was karl kostki and another was edward bernstein now karl kostki you now followed the direction given by marx it means socialism can be brought through revolutionary method but edward bernstein changed the entire scenario edward bernstein believed that the violence cannot be the justified means for the bringing socialism right and he basically revised the idea of socialism proposed by karl marx right edward bernstein rejected many theory of karl marx like class struggle no edward bernstein was not able to see the class any class struggle as marx predicted secondly marx talked about deterioration of the working class condition it means marx keh gaye the ki jo working class ka economic condition hai wo din ba din kharab hota rahega puri duniya ki jo working class hai ek ho jayegi marx ka slogan tha ki puri duniya ke mazdoor ek ho the workers of the world unite that was a slogan of karl marx right karl marx was very ambitious now you know after the death of marx edward bernstein was not seeing any class struggle he w- and he was not observing the deterioration of the working class condition on the other hand if you look at the working class condition has improved right working class condition has improved because of the movement right protest movement in many countries including germany for example the workers started getting holiday weekly holiday workers started getting you know increases in their wages right workers started getting you know a fixed time for working 8 hours 9 hours 10 hours so basically working class condition was not deteriorating but it was improving it was improving and therefore edward bonstein rejected the marx of idea of class struggle right and he witnessed that capitalism is changing right the nature of capitalism has changed from the marx time earlier time and he also rejected many theory of karl marx for example surplus value or economy determines everything he also you know had some suspicions and he observed that you know capitalism is not going to collapse as marx predicted and therefore he revised the basic tenet of marxism right so if you look at after death of marx you know after marx in germany you know there was a if you look at in germany there was a orthodox marxist who believed in revolutionary method but there was a revisionist who was revisionist it was edward bernstein who revised the marx idea right who was the orthodox marxist karl kotsky right so if you look at the german socialist democratic party program it was called also edward program at per program that was held in 1892 if i remember the year correctly right 1892 where you know if you look at the there is a change right 
orthodox marxists believe in revolution but edward bernstein believed in but he revised the idea so basically he is edward bernstein as a pioneer of revisionism edward bernstein is a pioneer of revisionism itna samajh mein aaya edward bernstein ne revisionist idea ko propose kiya tha right wo kyun propose kiya tha basically kya ho gaya edward bernstein ko that he you know revise the marxist idea first things you know if you look at edward bernstein right he was a pioneer of revisionism right he did not see no class struggle right main jaise likh raha hu ab notes hai aapke paas read it he did not see any class struggle he see no class struggle as marx marx ne communist manifesto mein manifesto mein kaha tha ki class struggle hoga aur ye class struggle aur intensify ho jayega you know capitalism has actually sharpened this class struggle between bourgeoisie and proletariat but he saw there is no class struggle now he saw that the working condition of the workers has improved workers condition has improved right again this was against the marx prediction marx ne kaha tha marx has already predicted the working class condition shall deteriorate but did not happen right what happened working class condition improved right similarly if you look at the cop cap marx talked about there shall be a revolution there shall be a revolutionary method that will you know change the entire work you know uh, capitalism but god he did not see the there is a collapse of capitalism so he saw that there is no collapse of capitalism right now marx again talked about the industry will go in a bigger in bigger hand right but if you look at the most number of cap you know industry remain in a small and medium hand in europe right so basically if you look at industry remain in the hand of the small and medium bourgeoisie rather than the big big one right right so no big you know small and medium industrialist class as opposed to the marx which who talked about there shall be you know the small and medium industries will go away their their industry will be captured by the big industry because of the competition in capitalism but that did not happen right working class will deteriorate it did not happen class struggle not happen right if you look at you know what happened there's a increase in the size of the middle class मिडिल क्लास की जो नंबर है संख्या वो बढ़ रही थी कहा यूरोप में नाउ लुक एट यू नो द राइट टू वोट हैज बीन एक्सटेंडेड राइट टू वोट हैज बीन एक्सटेंडेड टू वर्किंग क्लास टू वर्कर्स एंड वुमेन कम्युनिज्म आएगा क्या रिवॉल्यूशन होगा इज इट पॉसिबल टू ब्रिंग सोशलिज्म थ्रू रिवॉल्यूशन एफ यू इफ यू थिंक दिस इज हैपनिंग दैट वाज हैपनिंग इन यूरोप इन जर्मनी पर यू रिस्पॉन्स डू यू थिंक दैट if this was happening and this happening this all occurrences was against the marx prediction do you believe that so 
it is going to be a revolution no basically you know edward bernstein applied his mind applied his mind and he revised marxism right and that's why he called revisionist because he revised the marx and engels idea of revolution so he said this is the changes we cannot you know establish the socialism through revolution how we can establish socialism we can establish socialism through you know peaceful means right right that is through democracy through democracy right again he suggested to form a political party now look at it he is similarity what is the agency who can bring change you know if you look at edward bernstein again he talked about party पॉलिटिकल पार्टी बनाइए राइट यूनियन बनाइए वर्कर्स यूनियन नाउ दिस वर्कर यूनियन एंड पॉलिटिकल पार्टी विल कंटेस्ट इलेक्शन नाउ यू कंटेस्ट इलेक्शन नाउ व्हेन यू कंटेस्ट इलेक्शन ऑफ कोर्स यू नो दैट यू विल विन बिकॉज योर नंबर इज मोर राइट योर नंबर इज लार्जर तो इफ यू लुक एट डेमोक्रेसी डेमोक्रेसी में किसका वैल्यू होता है डेमोक्रेसी इज ऑलवेज नंबर गेम इन डेमोक्रेसी इट इज ऑलवेज नंबर गेम लुक एट मोदी जी हा ही हैज मोर पीपल ही इज इन पावर सविंदर लर्न सम फ्रॉम समथिंग फ्रॉम मोदी जी राइट ऑलवेज इंक्रीज योर पी आर पर्सनल रिलेशन है ना and try to contest local election cost i'm telling you everyone i'm telling you everyone bring you know just expand your personal relations right don't take anyone as your against everyone is is your favorite and you are favorite to everyone right so expand your uh, personal relations and if you expand your personal relation you can contest election because election is always number game right anyway and you can win the election now if you look at edward bonstein simply talked about political workers should form the political party they contest the election and they form the government right so political party election now election se hame kya karna hai election ke baad गवर्नमेंट बनाना है गवर्नमेंट क्या करेगी राइट इट विल ब्रिंग इंक्रीमेंटल चेंज राइट ब्रिंग इंक्रीमेंटल चेंज ट्रू रिफॉर्म ट्रू रिफॉर्म वट ही कॉल्ड सोशल डेमोक्रेसी what he called social democracy he said inequality and injustice can be addressed through social democracy right edwards bonstein argued argued that you know inequality that is a problem in capitalism now inequality and economic injustice or you say social injustice can be addressed through you know social democracy look at so if we say that you know uh yeah i read uh, someone i have tried to contest election as university president but failed yeah failure and success are part of our life chandra sir 
every day early in the morning we try to wake up early but we fail often right isn't it but when our determinations our you know conditions are favorable what is favorable condition you when you sleep early then you wake up early so of course all the you know that's good you have contested the election but yes the younger a young mind young people should come into politics there is a urgent need otherwise you know you can see our leaders you can see our leaders right anyway now if you look at you know Edward Bonstein he talked about you know this you know way of getting achieving power governmental power and we can bring incremental change through the reform we can bring social programs social welfare programs we can bring progressive taxation we can you know uh, make legislation which can justify the workers right right and that will gradually transform the society that will gradually transform the society towards more egalitarian society now if you look at bolsin idea and vision led to the idea of social democracy even ambedkar was very influenced by his idea of social democracy so you have seen fabian socialism you have seen revisionism what is the basic difference have you seen any difference डिफरेंस क्या था हमने दो सोशलिज्म पढ़ा वी टॉक्ड अबाउट फैबियन सोशलिज्म एंड वी टॉक्ड अबाउट रिविजनिज्म वॉट आर द डिफरेंस दैट सिमिलैरिटी देर आर मल्टीपल सिमिलैरिटी राइट वॉट आर दैट डिफरेंस राइट नाउ फी लुक एट द आइडिया ऑफ सोशल डेमोक्रेसी वॉज एक्सप्रेंडेंट बाय द लेबर पार्टी प्राइम मिनिस्टर क्लेमेंट एटली राइट जिसके दौरान भारत को आजादी मिली राइट इफ यू लुक एट ब्रिटिश लेबर प्राइम मिनिस्टर या इफ यू लुक एट विली ब्रांड ही वॉज अ जर्मन स्टेट्समैन यू नो ब्रांड रिपोर्ट हु सोव्ड चांसलर ऑफ द वेस्ट जर्मनी राइट द ओल ऑफ पाम द स्वीडिश प्राइम मिनिस्टर हु फॉलोड न्यूट्रलिटी इन फॉरन पॉलिसी इफ यू लुक एट द नॉर्वेजियन प्राइम मिनिस्टर ग्रो हेलमेट ब्रूटलैंड who promoted the concept of sustainable development the all was from you know influenced by social democracy samajh mein aaya yeah sahil harika chandra sa everyone anupama shavinder did you get the idea nahi theek hai pakka Hmm. So we have already talked about revisionism. We have twenty minutes more. Ah, uh, yes, we can do syndicalism. <clears throat> Now let me talk about syndicalism. Now, syndicalism, syndicalism is another version of socialism, and this version of socialism developed in France, Spain, Argentina, right? And its idea was, you know, that workers should be organized on the basis of union, not the party, right? Not union, right? Or syndicate. Syndicate means what? Means senior low syndicates. in order to achieve greater economic equality achieve social equality and social justice in socialism if you look at you know syndicates or unions shall play a greater role in order to determine production consumption and distribution of goods and services right so basically syndicalists believe in union syndicalists believe in union right rather than political party if you look at revisionist who believed in political party contested election if you look at you know fabian socialist 
who believe in you know a uh, political party the labor party contesting election forming government but syndicalists believe in union right union state right if there is a industry it should be run by the union right union led to the economic and economic redistribution economic redistribution right the union will decide production the union will decide production right and distribution of right so basically syndicalists believe that the union organize the life right on the line of industries right and there will be of course this union will be democratic you know leader of the union will be democratically elected right elected representative who will be accountable to the worker so this union will be um, you know com- consisting democratically elected people who shall be accountable to the workers now if you look at syndical syndicalism has origin in the labor movement especially labor movements in france spain right and latin american countries like argentina right like argentina right so they believe that worker should you know argentina now if you look at they believe that worker should play a very very important role right and they emphasize that the work union and the labor should be independent of the party right the state would play a important role right and they actually they will what would be the method their method would be biker right their method would be a strike now here you can see when there is a biker when there is a strike there can be violence are you getting my my point when there will be a strike when there will be biker remember nas ncm non cooperation movement of uh, gandhi gandhi ka movement yaad kariye na it was you know it appealed for the boycott now there was a violence within the and non non cooperation movement during non cooperation movement and chori chora led to the you know um, end of the non cooperation movement so when your method is you know like boycott a strike then there will be some you know violent violence right but of course they focus on non violence but violence may come automatically because you are not contesting election na you are not contesting election now if you look at you know they believe in the boycott and a strike they believe in union they believe in the union who consisting of the elected leaders who shall be who shall be accountable to the worker and union will organize all life socio economic life right now if you look at the exponent hamara revisionist mein ek hi exponent hai ek hi dada hai wo hai edward bonstein now if you look at exponent here exponents revisionist mein aur follower hai like olaf palm or you know the swedish prime minister that we talk about that was all our you know the follower but idea edward bonstein ne hi diya hai here you can see there are many uh, philosopher right like george sorel george sorel you know volunteer 
नॉम चॉम्सकी अभी भी जिंदे हैं नॉम चॉम्सकी नॉम चॉम्सकी राइट सो नॉम चॉम्सकी जॉर्ज सोरेल अगस्ट ब्लैंकी पोलियर दिस ऑल आर बेसिकली सैंडिकलिस्ट राइट एंड बेसिकली दे डोंट बिलीव इन स्टिंग इट मीन्स दे आर एनआरकिस्ट दे आर सोशलिस्ट एनआरकिस्ट सोशलिस्ट एनआरकिस्ट मतलब होता है एनआरकिस्ट मतलब दे डोंट बिलीव इन स्टेट दे बिलीव इन ऑर्गेनाइज कॉमन लाइफ इट मे बी दूनियन ऑफकोर्स हेयर वॉट द आइडिया यस शाहिल अब समझ में आया सैंडिकलिज्म थोड़ा सा that we have talked about yes you raise the question na something violence yeah so violence automatically aayega jab boycott or strike karenge to but wo hamara purpose nahi hai purpose to non violence hi hai what purpose to non violent resistance hi hai but jab kabhi violence ho jayega to koi baat nahi hai thoda mora chalega gandhi ne bhi kaha tha karo aur maro jab gandhi se ncm फेल हो गया राइट सिविल डिसोबिडियंस फेल हो गया राइट सीडीएम तब उन्होंने क्विट इंडिया मूवमेंट किया की वन यहां पर बोला कि डू अट दैट यू कैन सी कैन यू सी द मोस्ट वायलेंट इट वॉज इफ यू लुक एट क्विट इंडिया मूवमेंट इट वॉज अ कॉम्पेरेटिवली मोस्ट वायलेंट मूवमेंट देन द सिविल डिसोबिडियंस मूवमेंट एंड द नेशनल नॉन कॉपरेशन मूवमेंट थोड़ा हिस्ट्री पता है ना इंडियन हिस्ट्री यू नो बिट इंडियन हिस्ट्री आई एम जस्ट कनेक्टिंग नो मेरा बाबा कैसे चलेगा इंडियन हिस्ट्री नहीं पता है तो टेंथ में पढ़ा होगा ना नॉन कॉपरेशन मूवमेंट गांधी का नाम सुना होगा राइट नॉन कॉपरेशन मूवमेंट घर वाले बताते गांधी इतना काम किया I reached that medieval period. No issue at Savinder. No problem. Abhi samajh lijiye. The Quit India movement was a little more violent. It does not mean Gandhi, you know, preached violence. No, Gandhi preached always non-violent method. So when there is a, you know, method is boycott and strike, then violence may occur. Oh, बहुत अच्छी बात है. कोई बात नहीं. So we have formed, talked about, you know. This one, syndicalism. Another is guild socialism. वो खत्म ही हो जाएगा अभी कल से हम tomorrow we will talk about orthodox Marxism. Now, G U I L D. ये guild socialism develop होता है UK में Right? What do you mean by guild? कुछ थोड़ा पता हो guild का मतलब Have you heard about merchant guild, craft guild? Guild always cooperate each other. The association, very good, very good, very good, very good. It is a kind of association, right? So here, guild socialism means associational socialism. The first meaning that you keep in mind. It was a, of course, UK, UK origin, like Fabian socialist and guild socialist, both. had origin in in uk and it was a response to the capitalism and traditional socialism right a group of workers no if you look at guild means a group of workers like this is called guild a group of people a group of association it's association like craft guild like merchant guild now they can cooperate each other to achieve fair and just society the group of workers can cooperate each other to achieve you no know, a just and fair society that was a motive of the guild socialist now if you look at you know what was the their motive motive was replace the capitalist system of ownership 
right? Through the mutual cooperation and help, right? We must bring industrial democracy, right? What do you mean by industrial democracy? Again, these workers will run the democracy, but elected, self-governed. For example, if you look at Gram Swaraj in India, it is a self-governed unit. Similarly, if you look at democracy, sorry, industry, for them, industry should be self-governed, you know, unit right it would be commonly owned commonly on sab mil kar ke isko own karenge matlab iska malik honge sab log malik honge right it will be self governed guild right so workers jo honge wo sab malik hoga aur self governed karenge khud hi usko govern karenge dusra nahi govern karega राइट लाइक सिंडिकलिस्ट सिंडिकलिस्ट में कौन करेगा यूनियन करेगा ऑन द बिहाफ ऑफ द वर्कर सो वहां रिप्रेजेंटेटिव है अगर आप देखोगे सोशलिस्ट में पार्टी करेगी रिविजनिस्ट में कौन करेगा गवर्न पार्टी करेगी सिंडिकलिस्ट में कौन करेगा यूनियन करेगी ऑन द बिहाफ ऑफ वर्कर नो गिल्ड सोशलिज्म में कौन करेगा वर्कर दम सेल्स विल रूल दम सेल्स मेकिंग यू टू क्लियर The worker themselves will rule themselves. Yeah, Anugma, I'm making sense to you. The guild socialist, the guild will run the entire economy, right? The guild will, yeah. So basically, guild socialist was very much democratically decentralized socialist. You can say it was a democratically. decentralized self owned socialism right so democratic decentralization matlab khud log aayenge participate karenge aur sab uska malik banega right koi behalf pe nahi karega ka right the guild will you know basically responsible to fix the amount of production the amount of wages the working condition the cooperation and a smooth functioning of a industry samajh mein aaya guild socialism the rest you have already you know uh, many uh, thing in your notes read notes and tomorrow we will discuss orthodox marxism कल मजा आएगा रिवॉल्यूशन करने में हा कैसे रिवॉल्यूशन करना है राइट सो इफ यू लुक एट एक्सपोनेंट ऑफ गिल्ड सोशलिज्म अर्थर पेंटी यू नो एस जी हॉबसन बर्नाड रसिल बर्नाड रसिल वॉज गिल्ड सोशलिस्ट राइट सो यू हैव ऑलरेडी नॉट्स इफ एनी वन हु डज नॉट हैव एक्सेस टू नॉट्स लेट मी नो जस्ट ई मेल मी आई विल रिस्पॉन्ड यू विथ नॉट्स and i hope you have everyone have notes at uh, notes of you know uh, yes books have been provided to you by coaching but see i have just updated some some points some facts and the updated things i have already sent you chandra sir to email check the email of the last saturday uh, the last saturday right i have already sent to you and everyone so with this i will end today's lecture today's uh, teaching kal baatein karenge orthodox socialism dekho political ideology mein kitna time lag raha hai lagega lagta hai time kyunki these are basics right these are basics and you should understand the differences and similarity see you in the next class thank you Thank mm-hmm. you.